What's up, everybody? Welcome to Raw Sports TV 23. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Let's get it. Man, this NBA in season tournament, I first really wasn't feeling the whole idea, but I gotta admit, a sleeper team has definitely been the Indiana Pacers. They have been one that I just slept on, and man, I'm rooting for the Pacers. I actually would like to see them win the whole thing because that would just be like a shocker um, if they actually came out on top and won the whole thing instead of like some big market team that people would like expect, like the Lakers or the Boston Celtics, which they were eliminated tonight. The Boston Celtics, they were eliminated. They did not have Christoph Porzingis, so that probably played a definite factor um, in them being eliminated. But we got to talk about your boy, Tyrese Halliburton. Man, this guy has really elevated his game. has gone to a whole nother level um, since the time he was in Sacramento. And I wonder, do the Sacramento Kings regret trading him? I mean, look, they got eliminated from the whole in-season tournament also. But Tyrese Halliburton, his handles, he's improved his three-point shot. And he really has an awkward type of shot so it's like it doesn't like it's gonna go in but it does go in he's giving me mad steph curry vibes because you know steph curry was like that one guy that just started shooting shots that a coach would just bench you for from half court he's still doing it now um pulling up on two people pulling up in transition on three knocking it down you know him and clay thompson but like everybody's doing it now and tyrese Halliburton seems like he's the reincarnation of steph um, triple double tonight against the Boston Celtics 26 but 11 and 13 he's leading the NBA in assists he, got a 40, he had a 44 point game the other day against the Miami Heat even though they came up a little short in that game still phenomenal seeing him playing on both ends of the ball because I'm not just one of the people who just get into the analytics and the stats um, because I know those things can be over uh, emphasize and over inflated in this today's game because it's more emphasis on scoring and there is a lack of defense but just to see his skill level how he has improved his game is just straight phenomenal so they did knock out the Boston Celtics and they're gonna go Thursday uh, to uh, Vegas to play in the end season tournament and like I said I would love to see them be able to advance uh, I got a strange feeling it may be the Pacers and the Lakers. I really don't trust the Phoenix Suns because their injuries that they got going on with Bradley Bill. But if the Pacers do end up taking the Lakers, and the reason why I say the Lakers is because the Lakers, you know, they kind of had it easy uh, going against the Memphis Grizzlies a couple times uh, who were shorthanded, beating up on the tra Portland Trailblazers who are also shorthanded. Uh, kind of gave them the advantage in moving on. But we got to see what's going to happen with that when they play against the Phoenix Suns. But Tyrese Halliburton is on a whole nother level. He's giving mad MVP vibes to me. Uh, if he keeps this up, he is in the conversation. This year is one of the best players in the league. Uh, I mean, I can't stop, you know, watching, you know, just some of the crazy shots. It's all like his form. It looks like it's one of the worst, ugliest shots I've seen. Well, not the worst, but it's pretty bad. But it goes in. And, man, he was breaking down Drew Holiday. And, man, he's one of the greatest defenders in the league right now. But he was getting broke off by your boy, Halliburton. And Buddy Hill, you know, did his thing. But shout out to the Indiana Pacers um, for having faith and Halliburton, and they are definitely on the come up. They're fast, they're quick. Uh, Miles Turner in the paint. That would definitely be a challenge for the Lakers, but let's see what happens. Make sure you comment below. Let me know what you think about your boy, Tyrese Halliburton. I mean, he's definitely a sleeper. Definitely, definitely a sleeper, and he's in the MVP conversation. If he keeps this up, hell, he may even be the MVP of the NBA this season. Well, Nikola Jokic is still balling out of the out. He he could have won two MVP. He, he could have been MVP last year. And also, he is going crazy this year. But just to see someone fresh is exciting. Comment below. Let me know what you think. We out. Peace.